Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for October. I hope you guys are all feeling great. I do want to take a quick second, Capricorn, to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Capricorn out there. So if it's not resonating, guys, you can check your other signs and placements and see if your messages are in those readings. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. So get in where you fit in if it is resonating. And as always, Capricorn, please don't force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, you are starting out with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And coming out together, we have Judgment Reverse along with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Ooh. So, Capricorn, I am sensing that you are releasing or letting go of something or someone here. There is a karmic aspect to this, so you could be dealing with a karmic person or you could be simply dealing with a karmic lesson here. Um, I do feel like with the three of pentacles in the reverse, this has to do with an ending of a foundation or a broken contract of some sort. Um, you could be, you, you may have walked away from this connection and now you're regretting that or you have walked away from a connection. There's still some emotional attachment, but you feel like going back into it would be a mistake. So um, just take that as it resonates. Let me see who's in your energy. Spirit, show me who's in Capricorn's energy. Show me who's in Capricorn's energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so the person in your energy has a Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. We have the King of Cups. Interesting. And we have the Nine of Cups. So you are wish fulfillment for this person. This person has a lot of emotions for you. Um, so much so that it, it feels chaotic to them at times. It feels like um, their emotions for you just shake them up. Like they're, you know, they're playing the hand that they've been given. But, you know, there's a lot of chaos with regard to this this uh, energy here. They definitely have the a lot of feelings for you, though. They feel like you are their divine partner and you are their wish fulfillment. If they could have anybody, it would be you. Um, strong water sign energy here. Let's see the energy between you and this person. The world. There's been an ending here. Either that or there's a cycle that's ending um, for a new cycle to begin. And we'll clarify that. Um, let me see what's affecting this connection. I feel like their emotions for you are so strong that that it just unsettles them. Um, what's affecting the connection is the moon. Sign of Cancer, by the way. There's um, there's a something hidden here that's affecting the connection. It could be secrets. It could be that one of you is not really um, telling the other person how they feel, and I feel it would be this person. Um, they feel overwhelmed by their emotions, so they may be keeping them. Kind of secret. Let me see your outcome. The King of Pentacles, Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. Now, with the King of Pentacles here, this has to do, um, it could be indicating that you're both just working very hard, but this typically deals with commitment. This person wants a commitment with you, it would be their wish come true. Um, you may be having your doubts about this person, though. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Yeah, there's indecision here. You're not sure which direction to go. Um, you feel like you need to make a decision, but you want to keep your emotions out of it. And you're very guarded. So, yeah, 
Um, let's look at your energy here. Spirit, what, why is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Oh, look at that. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, here we have the King of Pentacles in the upright and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so you may have released this person and let them go. There's a cycle that's ending. This person could have been unfaithful or perhaps you were. Somebody was unfaithful here and it ended a connection. I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of loss and that loss had to do with um, somebody with this Queen of Wands coming into the situation. This Queen of Wands, um, for me as a reader, is typically has to do with another party coming into it. So somebody was unfaithful, with brought in a third party, and I feel like you let this person go. You accepted this as a loss. Um, let me see why the Three of Pentacles is in reverse. So whoever was unfaithful broke this contract. It was a soul contract between you and this person. I feel like you took you took steps to end this cycle. The hangman in reverse. And temperance. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of healing. In fact, some of you have actually been pushed into an ascension of some sort. You you're there's a sense of enlightenment here that has been a long time in coming. And it, it occurred as this connection ended. I do feel that there you you may some of you may want to secretly like heal this connection. You may have been kind of waiting to see if that would happen. You were unsure. Um, let me see the bottom energy for Capricorn. All right, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles reversed. We have the Six of Wands and we have the Two of Coins. So, <laughs> so yeah, somebody's coming back into your energy or you're returning back towards somebody. Um, I do feel that you don't know if it's going to be successful. This would be somebody who perhaps was not offering you very much. Um, they might not have been honest in the past. Um, you may feel that you made a poor judgment call with this person. I see you really weighing up the pros and cons about whether or not you're going to take this person back. Yeah. Either that or you're weighing up the pros and cons if they're going to take you back. Bottom of the deck right now is the Five of Cups in the reverse. So there's regrets that are here. Let's look at this person's energy. Um, why is the Queen of Cups here? All right, Ace of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Coins reverse. So this person, um, this looks like it was a long-term connection because we have the Nine and the one that's Ten of Pentacles. Um, this was a, a long-term connection. This person still loves you. This person um, has deeply felt this loss after the ending of this connection, but there was no stability here. Um, why is the King of Cups here? Oh, there was a tower. So they also have the Three of Coins in the reverse. So there was an established foundation that was ended here. A soul contract was broken. Um, it does appear as if you broke it on the, um, that Capricorn, you broke it. Now, it could be that the energies have reversed, so put yourself where you belong. But what I'm seeing is that the ending of this contract, the ending of this foundation between you and this person, it caused a tower moment for them. And they were plunged into just this chaos of emotion here. They still have love for you. This was very traumatic for them, and they, they feel a deep sense of loss. Now, this person feels wronged by the, the things that were done, justice in reverse. Um, this person feels wronged. So, I, I do feel that this person has experienced a very severe loss, and the reason that they're in chaos is because they still do have these deep, strong emotions for you. Um, this person could have felt been a little bit codependent, too, if I'm being perfectly honest. Let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. Why is the Nine of Cups here? 
Yeah, they want to resolve the problems that ended this connection. Ace of Wands reversed, um, which indicates infidelity. It indicates that Capricorn, you brought somebody else into the situation, but they want to work this out. Their, their wish fulfillment would be to work out the problems that caused this ending. So, but I do feel like they feel conflicted about it. Their, their own emotions, it's like they feel their emotions are betraying them. Let me see why the world is here. So if you brought somebody into the connection, it, it does show me that you've learned a karmic lesson from this. All right, so we have the moon and we have the Hierophant. So what is taking place is all the secrets are, are resolving. And the secrets were involving infidelity. It was involving a lack of commitment. It was involving this Queen of Wands, another person. You've kind of let that all of that stuff go. You're, you're trying to release that, let it go um, in order to have a new beginning. Now, the person in your energy, um, I do feel with the Hierophant here, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer, but what's taking place is all of these secrets and all of these problems, that's what's wrapping up in order for a com the possibility of a commitment to come through. I will tell you that this person was very committed to you. They may be seeking advice from a spiritual leader or somebody that they highly respect as well. Um, they could have gone into counseling after the ending of this connection too. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Cups. Ooh. So there could be somebody new in their energy. Um, it may have taken you a very long time to to come about the understanding that you you still want this person in your life. So what's affecting the connection is the secrets, and the secrets are on your side, Capricorn, um, and the stagnant energy. You were very stagnant. You were not taking steps to to remedy the situation between you and this person. In the meantime, somebody new has come into their life. Somebody they weren't expecting either. Um, I do feel like they feel you owe them an apology for the ending of this connection and the way things ended, um, for the secrets that were kept, for the slow um, you know, energy as far as you coming to this realization. And I do feel like it took you quite some time. So let's see why, let's look at your outcome at the end of the week. Spirit, show me the outcome for Capricorn at the end of the week. Yeah, there's going to be forward movement. All right, we have the Ace. Um, I'm sorry, why did I say that? We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Seven of Coins. We have the Four of Swords, and we have the Nine of Wands reversed. So there is going to be there is going to be rapid movement, but not initially, not by the end of the week. That rapid movement is going to come about as you reverse your your position on the things that you've done, um, or or things that were said, or things that were you know. Um, mistakes that were made. There is a reversal that is taking place here. Um, and there's going to be a rapid um, sense of commitment that's coming in on both sides. However, at the end of the week, I'm seeing that there's going to have to be a lot of patience. Why? Well, because I see that you're still not communicating. You're debating you're debating about this. You're weighing up the pros and cons about making an offer to this person, about coming back in, um, about making this judgment call, about whether to tell the truth. You know, there's there's all this energy of of you know, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? It's like you've realized that you want to heal the connection, but you're really not moving forward. Um, you're not you're not taking the steps and and it's because you're up in your head it's this indecisiveness 
you know, going back and forth, not really making a decision. And during this period, you're, you're keeping silent. You're keeping silent. You're healing your own energy, but you're keeping silent. In their energy, I feel like they're very patient. This person is definitely very patient. However, I feel like they're giving up hope on this connection. And you've got some, you've got competition coming in here with this page of cups or somebody new in this person's energy that you don't know about. Um, it's hidden from you. So somebody new has either come into their energy or is coming into their energy. And I do feel that you know, this person right now wants to work this out. They're being very patient. They want to invest in the connection, but it's going to take communication in order to come about that. And it's going to take a rapid change in your perspectives. So, you know, I, if I were you, I would get on top of this because like I said, um, this person, this person has a lot of deep feelings for you. You are their wish fulfillment. However, You've got competition here now. So while you're spending time debating this, somebody is coming into the their energy. Bottom of the deck is the chariot. All right, that is very rapid movement. Um, it's moving forward, wanting success, wanting the success in moving forward, but it, there's this indecisive energy. So it's almost like you're at war with yourself here. So, and like I said, because um, I've done a lot of the Capricorn readings, you guys have gotten a lot of the bonuses. It does appear to me that for some of you, the roles have switched here. Um, so if you find yourself on this side, just get in where you fit in. But I definitely see that the person on, on my left is definitely doing a lot of back and forth, back and forth. It's like they know what they want, but they, they're at war with themselves. So let's pull a, let's pull a, I, I feel like some of you guys are dealing with another Capricorn. I really do. Um, that happened to me when I dated a, another Libra. So, all right. So your card, yeah, we have falling. It's number four. Four is generally about stability. So stability is, is a key part of this. Um, and we, we see that in the past there was love here, but there was a lack of stability in this connection. It's talking about the unknown. It's um, momentum and change, which is coming, but it, you're going to have to be patient for that. All right, so let me read this for you. Give me just a second. I'm using the um, Alice in Wonderland Oracle. And the quote from the, the book, it says, I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth says, you are presently experiencing a time of descent. You are in between worlds yet to land, yet to know what will come next, yet to feel the impact of the inevitable moment when your feet touch the earth again. At present, it is natural to feel doubt, discouragement, nerves, and even fear. You have leapt, now you must fall. Soon you shall land, but first comes the descent. You have launched yourself into the unknown, taken a risk, dared to follow your instinct without the thought and consideration that would have seen you miss the chance that will come to you. But right now, you're completely within the process of descent. You may have allowed yourself to let go of people, places, objects, roles, or ways of being. It could be that a relationship, a type of career, or the routine you once had is now in flux. Something has, <clears throat> something has unraveled and you are moving into a different part of your destiny. A fall can be accompanied by disillusionment, a sense of something that something is being broken, a shattering of beliefs and perspectives, and the inability to know what will come next. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You may wonder, just like Alice, whether you will fall right through the earth. In other words, will everything in your world end? Will you simply keep falling, falling, falling with no end at all? It will end. There will be a new place and a fresh way of being to explore. For now, surrender to the descent into the passageway to the next life. The fall is the moment before rebirth. The best possible response is to relax into the fall, observe and wonder at what is to come. Know this was the only way through to the next stage of your evolution, the entrance to your own wonderland. There is no new discovery without descent, without relinquishing some of who you were. 
This is the way you will become who you are next meant to be. So you are in the process of a transition, basically. Um, it's like that transition has begun on a more spiritual level. Um, however, you haven't yet put your feet on earth as to where you are going to be in the 3D. So you're, you're definitely in this process of, of change. All right, well, I do hope that this has been helpful for you. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.